Hello everyone, my name is Miles Empire. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the new Chaos Arthur that just released. So, yeah, basically that's all I have. Um, I'm going to be talking about what he does, and the banner, and just the rest of the update. So, just remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers. So, let's continue, shall we? So, Arthur is a green unit. And he's also a UR outfit. Now, now UR outfit. Sorry about that. UR unit. So just like uh, God Melly, he's also a UR based unit. So he's not starting off as SSR and all that. So, you know, all I could say is right now, they better give us like 50 free pendants again because or like more because like, you know, like it took forever. Well, it didn't take forever for me because, you know, when they gave us like the free 50 pendants, I was able to get like eight UR pendants. I don't think it was, I think it was 10 that was required for Melee. So hopefully, you know, I can get this guy leveled up quick. So here are his outfits. And I like the one on the, you know, the bottom left, the one on the bottom, basically. I like that one the most. The one on the left, let's hit the top left, is my favorite. And the cowboy outfit, I mean, it, I like it too. Like, I, I don't say there's any like, these favorites because i like them all they're pretty good uh i think this is a new card set i am not sure but yeah there's a card set right here and then we have a zaneri holy relic and i'll get to her relic uh in a, in a bit and not right now because my, i want to get through the rest of the update first then do the transitions last and then here's the coin shop uh, if you want to like know what's in the coin shop for festivals, I think the only thing I was added was Merlin. I think. <sighs> All right, so here are the bundles for all you people who are going to spend. Uh, more bundles. Why is it like? Why is my phone going so slow? Or why is it going so slow? Uh, uh, holy relic materials. Which, by the way, actually they did. They did not add a new demonic beast. They didn't add the squirrel yet, so that's going to be a wait. It's probably gonna be like for like a, it's probably gonna be like for like a Ragnarok update, I think. So here's this, uh, login bonus. We have free 200 gems, so make sure to log in every day. And we have a free banner, so, it will, so log in, log in every day for one free multi. And then here are the missions that you need to do for the, for like the free multi and three your pendants, which is nice. I don't know why it keeps going to the side. That's so dumb. And then they're bringing this back just for Chaos Arthur now. So that's good. Looks awesome. That artwork like there, right there, it looks sick. Looks awesome. Like his artwork looks so good. So I, li I like it. All right. So they're bringing back the wish box thing. So that's good. W's. And they're bringing back the um, those outfits. Those I, don't know, I forgot what event it was, but they're bringing back those outfits. And they have holy relic boxes, which is interesting. So, well, holy relic boxes for like the unknown characters, like the collabs. And then we have bingo, so that's good. Bingo is always good. So make sure to like farm the tickets and get some rewards. Why does it keep going to the side? Like that's so dumb. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, they're bringing back this, uh, Hawk boss, so that's awesome, I guess, with more rewards. This is what you get for completing, like, every, this is what you get for completing every, like, five times, I assume. So, that's good. Nice, there's a, there's a bundle right there, so, awesome. Uh, Labyrinth's coming back, so that's awesome, I guess. Uh, they are bringing back the Mael outfit, the Bon outfit, and the Hell outfit. So, if you if you didn't get it, there's your chance. Um, what else we got? So here's the gem count. So we have a free Arthur skin. We're well, not skin. What am I? Why am I thinking about Fortnite right now? Um, free outfit, free SSR outfit for 900 gems. So if you go for rotation, just like with Melly, um, you can get his outfit. Uh, what else we got? Uh, King's back. That's good. You know, I like that. Uh, what else we got? Mm. 
a hawk pass of course here's the hawk pass they are adding a new king outfit which it looks like right looks like to me right there king outfit so good uh what else and it's pretty much it let me go to the other patch so update new character here's the rest so uh, here is translations but i'm not sure if, i'm not sure if this is the correct ones so i'm gonna like save that for when i hop onto the translations and here's the banner which to me it doesn't look that bad i mean like the only things that are not like useful to me is like green brun green sario and i think that's it i think everyone else like use dupes for like blue margs one dupe away from six six I have her lr so Bond needs two dupes, Escrow needs two dupes, Program needs three dupes, and so on. I, I already wrote down my list for of what dupe levels I have for every character on this banner. So, like the only units I don't have is um, Green Chandler and uh, Green Alay, and is that it? And the new Chaos Arthur, of course. But yep, those are the only two units I'm missing, really. Uh, it's 900 mark, of course. Okay, to show the banner again, I don't know why. Uh, here's the free banner. So you have a chance to get any of these characters at level 90. And the like the pity mark for the free banner is these characters. And at the end, like at step 10, you can choose any of these URs. Which really, I all of these units right here are like already level 90. So I guess I could chase a dupe for a unit. I don't know which one yet. So that's good, I guess. Oh, wait, oh, no, these are the, are these the mileage rewards? Oh, this is the step up achievement. Uh, never mind. So, so on step two, you can get Escanor, step four, Hawk, step six, uh, Arthur, step eight, Grimoire, then step 10, the UR. This is the mileage. So, 20 uh, auto clear tickets, nice. Another UR pendant, so that's already four for Arthur. And yeah, that's pretty much the update. So, the only thing left is to go to the translation. So, let's do that, shall we? All right, so before we continue, I wanted to give a big shout out to uh, Infinity Tavern for uh, providing the translations. So, passive king of chaos for every human ally participating in battle, increase the human allies basic stats or base stats by 5% for one ult gauge increasing among the human allies by using a skill, skill move or rank up, Call apply call of chaos to the unit when call of chaos is a max stat at the start of the allies turn remove all stacks of the call of chaos and apply chaos domination for to the unit for two turns uh, call of chaos is critical defense plus 10 percent max hp plus five max four stacks chaos domination taunts enemies max hp 30 percent remove two debuff apply to the unit when using a skill apply extra damage by 25 percent of the unit's max hp uh, skill one divine slash inflict flash damage by 200 percent of attack to a single enemy flash is two per two per, times two critical chance to mm, okay sorry i can't speak so times two critical chance times two damage on debuffed enemy skill two wicked bite inflict flood damage by 100 percent of attack to all enemies apply seal of darkness to enemies for one turn i think this is infect so yeah infect seals heal related effects or and reduce aoe damage by 30 percent uh, unit or ultimate sorry about that i don't know why i said unit uh, ultimate is called uh into the chaos i'm not sure if that's right but i guess it's that, that, that's okay sorry for my stuttering i guess that's what it's called it's like five in the morning guys like i woke up at 2 50 just for this live stream so sorry if i seem like a bit different so apply power of chaos to all and allies for three turns inflict server damage by 750 percent of attack to all enemies that ignores enemies critical defense by 50 percent apply four stacks of call of chaos to the unit when participating in battle if the unit has power of chaos applied increase the unit's damage dealing by 40 percent and reduce damage taken by 30 percent power of chaos all stats 20 percent reduced damage taken from ultimates by 50 percent so yeah that's what arthur does um i still need to show what zaneri does so i'm gonna quickly like transition to Zaneri's relic so let's do that shall we all right so here's Zaneri's relic it's a bird relic so if you want to get it start grinding up so for each debuff effect 
of an ally that you remove using a skill. The basic stats of the all human ally increased by 2% up to a maximum of 20. The HP of the ally whose buff deep who okay, sorry, but let me repeat that. And the HP of the ally who debuff effect was removed will be reduced by to the debuff that was removed. Each effect is restored by 5% maximum HP. So again, she removes when she removes like uh, debuffs, she gives stats, I assume. Then she also heals too. So that's what the relic does. So yeah, that's pretty much all the update guys. Uh, new relic, which is, I'm surprised it was like the only one. They should have privately dis... Okay, sorry for my stirring, guys. Again, it's 5 in the morning, you know, I'm tired. So, one relic, new unit, which we'll see how he does. Uh, banner is alright, not, not bad. And then events, pretty much all there is. So, hopefully, you know, Arthur's good and all. So, I'm, I'm excited. I'm still going to go at least like one rotation for what I'm seeing right now. Only one rotation. So that'll be it for the video, guys. Um, remember to like and subscribe. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, goodbye and good night. You know, I gotta get some sleep. I, I can get at least like um, two hours of sleep right now if I do this quickly. So I'll take what I can get. So peace.